What's going on YouTube? Jake here with Venter Visuals. Today I'm really fired up to be showing you guys this super trendy flash transition effect that I use in a lot of my music videos. I see a lot of other people using it in their music videos and creative edits. This tutorial is going to be really easy to follow. Not much needs to happen to make this effect work. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So here in Adobe Premiere Pro, I have an old music video pulled up. Uh, from last summer that I shot with Rudil. The song was called Pressure. It's on my YouTube channel. We did a really cool music video for it. So if you want to check it out, I'll include the link below. So here in my timeline, if we go to the very beginning of the song, you're going to see here where the song starts to hit right here. So you'll notice that it's kind of quiet. We got this build up in the beginning and then the beat hits right here. And so what I want to do is when this beat hits, I want to add that flash effect, that flash transition that we all see to kind of make the visual slap with the beat. So all you got to do to make this effect happen is wherever your project tab is, come down here to this little paper thing where it says new item and we're going to click on it. We're going to say adjustment layer. We're going to make this adjustment layer and we're going to click and drag it right above our clips where we want this flash effect to happen here. So what I'm going to do is just shrink up my adjustment layer where I want the flash to occur. You know, it's going to be a pretty small adjustment layer. Right about there is good. And now I'm going to just basically come to where the two clips intersect. We're going to come to our effects tab over here. Type in this effect called brightness and contrast, right? So we're going to just drag that onto our adjustment layer like this. And since our scrubber, this big line that's right in the middle of these two clips is right where it needs to be. This is where we want the flash to be the brightest. So what we got to do is turn up our brightness to 100 and make a keyframe right there. Go all the way back to the beginning where the brightness starts and just hit this reset parameter icon right here to bring it back down to its original state of zero. So now it's going to go from zero to 100 brightness when the clip transitions. And then at the very end, we want it to go right back down to its original color at zero. So now we get this flash happening. But the only thing is, it's not that bright. I want it to be brighter, you know? We, we like it to be flashy, you know? It's 2021, people want that flashiness. So what we gotta do is take this brightness in contrast, and we're gonna hit Command C and Command V on that clip. So we're just gonna copy paste it right on that adjustment layer. We're just gonna duplicate it so it gets twice as bright. Now these keyframes are already timed up with your first keyframes here. And now when we play it back, let's see what we got. Unfortunately for me, this flash is a little bit too long. So I want it to kind of hit a little bit snappier. I want it to really pop with the visual. We're going to come back to our adjustment layer and we're just going to take our first keyframes and drag them a little bit closer to our middle keyframe and just shorten this flash up a little bit. One more thing I really like to do is highlight your end keyframes right here and hit ease in. And then we're going to highlight our first couple of keyframes here and we're gonna right click on them and hit ease out. So this basically, instead of it just going straight to 100 and then straight back to zero, it's gonna gradually go to 100 and then gradually come back to zero. Now, it's really quick, so you're probably not gonna notice it that much, but it does help the overall effect. It is a little bit quicker now. It hits a lot better with the beat and the speed of the beat. The great thing about this adjustment layer and making the flash effect on this adjustment layer is that you can now take this adjustment layer and copy paste it all over your timeline where you might want flashes to occur without having to remake the entire effect from scratch. So pretty much every music video I make, I make one flash effect on an adjustment layer and then I can copy paste that flash effect adjustment layer all over the timeline wherever I want that flash effect to, to occur. So it's a really efficient way to kind of use this effect and it will really take your visual from here to here. You know what I'm saying? I like it a lot more than the additive dissolve that's included in Adobe Premiere Pro as like a default flash transition. This is a lot cooler, a lot more bright and flashy in my eyes. So I do have some visual effects, overlays, transitions on my website, venturevisuals.com. I do have some free stuff on there as well that you can use in your own edits. So definitely check that out if you're interested. And also comment down below which effect you've seen a lot of music video editors using. So I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say below. I'm Jake Venner. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, peace out.